Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. So guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew. Let me just call it a fancy sleeve or a, a beautiful sleeve. I actually a petal sleeve, whatever. Just you can call it anything you think. Just drop the what you think we should have called it. If you know, you can drop it on the comment section for me. So you could see the sleeve from the picture we have up there. It is actually a two-piece sleeve. Like you could see what I'm putting on. This one I'm putting on. This is a high-low sleeve. So you have a high-low flay and then the regular pencil sleeve. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you, but it's going to be having a twist. Because if you see, you see that it has something like a rose, a spiral rose. So for that part, I'm going to be using my regelin and boning for that part. And then we're going to be cutting. So let's just get started. Okay, so if you have not subscribed to my channel, um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all of my various social media platforms at Facebook, at Stylish Niger, Instagram and then pinterest as stylish niger so most of all this platform i normally drop illustration and notification in case you miss them here on on, on youtube you'll see them there and if you want to register for my online class for this month registration has commenced we have a new class the advanced class so if you want to register for that class you can send me a message the ready to wear class for those that want to go into ready to wear business you can register for that class we have a corset class for those that don't know how to finish a very proper covered corset and then we have the intermediate and then the beginners class just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll send you the details of the course outline okay let's get started so you see for the top part so i'm going to drop the the link the, on the description box the how to i have a video of this sleeve actually on the channel so i'll drop the link so we're going to just start with our basic sleeve so this is like a pen a basic pencil sleeve so once you watch this one you will understand it's the same process it's just a little change so i'll drop the link like i said so this is our regular pencil sleeve which is this top part of this sleeve and then this part i'm going to use to cut the flare i did not have i had to join the fabric so I, you see i folded it into four we are going to actually cut out now so for this kind of sleeve you can you just um depends on the length that you want for your sleeve so all you are going to do is you separate the up part from the down part of the measurement for instance if your the full length of the sleeve is 19 inches and you want the down part to be 10 inches all you are going to do you cut this top part 9 inches and then cut this down part as 10 inches so let's just get started okay so the first thing you are going to do when you want to cut out a sleeve like this you are going to after measuring your um after getting your basic uh, sleeve what you are going to do you are going to measure the round sleeve that's your bicep area depends on where you actually want the cut to be you would measure it so that's what you use to cut out your peplum so what i actually have here is six inches so for this we're going to increase it because you see that this the sleeve it actually did something like a spiral so instead of six inches which is 12 we're going to cut out 10. so you see our fabric is folded into four so what we're going to do now we're going to use about 2.5 to cut out so that 2.5 is going to be our instead of six like i said we're cutting out 10 so our round is going to be 10 because we need that spiral to have that spiral you can make it 12 depending on how big you actually want it to be so what we are going to do now i'm going to yeah i'm just going to to cut out just cut it your regular way you cut your, your peplum so the next thing i'm going to measure the length of what i want so I have about 10 inches here, so I'll use the 10 inches to cut it out. Because you know I'm still going to add my boning on it, so 10 is okay. So I think what I have is okay. So I have my, my length, that's for the width of my sleeve, I have it, and then I have this part to twist around is okay so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to open up this sleeve so i'm looking for which uh, part is going to be best for us to open because we're going to trim out a lot from this sleeve that's a part of it we're going to actually trim it off so i think let's uh, open up let's open up this part it's going to be okay let's open up this part 
because this part has the joint but it'll be fine okay i've already opened up okay. so now i have this part opened up it's still it's sticking back to the same thing <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to actually achieve this. So you see my sleeve, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to like butterfly it, if, I, if you permit me to use that word. This is the, the armpit part, that's this part where you have your joint. That's this part. So I'm going to just, okay, I already have a line, so I don't need to put a notch. So I'm going to be working with this line. So you are just going to make it, let it stay like this. So we're going to gauge, so this part, you just need, um, to bring your creativity to life that's just like the truth in creating out this thing you need your creativity so I'm to, I just want to measure it to make sure that I have before I actually start trimming I hope you can see what I'm doing so I'm trying to to like get so I want this part you see this part I want it to be here so that's just what I'm basically trying to do. I'm trying to fix it. Let it be there. So you, I hope you can see it. So and then I'll bring this other part. I'm going to, I'll bring this part now to this point. I just want to get the width. The width of my, this point. So you just have to put this into consideration. So this is the center. So it is at the center. You just place it at the center and make sure you get the width of the sleeve first. So if you are going to line this sleeve, you are going to make sure you set out everything before you actually start lining it. So I'm going to pin this point like this. So I've pinned it now. So I have my sleeve width and you notice this is the center. That's the center point. I already have it. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to trim this sleeve we're going to literally trim it up to like a high low sleeve so here's what we're going to do so we already have this point so from this point i'm just going to you can measure if you want to i'm just going to i, I just want to eyeball it first before i would before i would, I would actually measure it to give it a, a definite uh, measurement so I, I i just did rough mark So now measured now to check five inches. So once I get towards this end, I'm going to increase the width. So I'll increase the width to about six inches. So I'll get it to this point first. So now I'm going to trim out now. So you see why I I I'm just going to trim out the whole of this part like this. Now we're going to measure and see what we have. So the longest part of our, um, of our, what do you call it, of our peplum, we have nine inches. Why the shortest part, which is the part that we're going to spiral, is about five inches. So I'm going to trim, trim off that part. I want it to be that five inches. So it is five inches. So you see what we have at the end of the day. It's just like a high, low peplum also. So now we're going to... What we are going to do now, so I'm trying to get back, get my width up, back, but in getting it, note that if you take it to the side like this, for you to get the width, the spiral and part is going to be on the side. So you and you actually want it at the center. So you are you are just always going to use this as guide. You're going to use it as guide. Because this sleeve, you are actually not, you are actually not, actually, you are not joining it. It does not have any joining, so. So I think what I have is okay. So at the end of the day, see how this part is going to look like. So we are going to go and start stitching now. So for, for to stitch this, we are going to use our boning, like I said. We are going to use our boning. And then I'm going to just take it to my machine. I'm going to stitch it around. This is a stitchable boning. I will stitch it around and then I would turn, I would turn it like this. So I'm just going to. So you see, I've, I've actually started stitching the boning on it. So what I did, I just used um, left about 1.5 inches. So and then I now started stitching my boning from the shallow side. That's the for, from the the part that we measured five inches. So I started stitching it down. 
so i now i stitched it up to like half parts of the sleeve so when you cut this out so if you are going to turn this sleeve with a lining definitely you have actually cut out a second piece exactly like this so what you are going to do now after i'm stitching this one up to this side you are just going to turn it out with your lining you are going to turn it out with your lining and then you are going to have the spiral effect on this side but for this since i'm not going to be turning it in case you are using a scuba fabric for this sleeve and you don't want to to turn out yes well, so after stitching like this what i'm going to do now i'm just going to take it back to my machine excuse me i'm going to take it back to my machine and then i'm going to lock i'm just going to with the remaining inches that is there, i'm going to just and um, place it down and then i'm going to stitch i'm going to stitch this round like this just to close up this part and then fold okay so welcome back everyone so you could see and uh, what we actually have now so i finished teaching so like i said mine i actually did not lining so you see the spiral nature is already twisting on its own the next thing what i'm going to do now so you know this part that we measured initially was actually 12 inches i'm just going to take my tape like this and then i'll measure 12 inches from this point for me to know where i am actually going to to bend it from So this is 12 inches so i'm just going to take like this i'm going to bring it to to meet this point so you see that i have you see what i have here so this part now what i'm going to do now to this part is this part that's from this point now this is the 12 inches this is where i'm going to i'm just going to use pins first you can double check check it to make sure that it is correct let me just measure properly so this is my 12 inches so i can actually put a notch there so from that point i'll just take this and then i will bring it to this point like this so i have my 12 inches that's for this part so this place is actually going to be at the center here so whatever you do so from this point, I'll take this point and take my notch point. It's going to sit on it like this. This part is going to sit here like this. So I'm going to use my pin. You can actually go and you can actually stitch it down to secure it. Because like I said, the sleeve actually does not have a join. It does. It does not have, you don't actually don't close it. So this is just this point. So I've, I've pinned it. You take it after pinning that part will take it to i'll take it now to my machine and then i will go and stitch so in stitching here is what you are going to do when you want to stitch you are actually going to stitch this is the part where the pin is that's the center that's the center front and then this is the center front that's this part this is the center front so you are going to take it like you are going to join them together and then you take the center part right side facing right side and then you are going to go and fix the sleeve together let's just do it that way you are going to go and fix it around and then this part is going to dangle so after fixing before we we'll come and twist it okay so you see i finish and stitching it okay so you see this part now so this is the part that we left so what you are now going to do with this part now because it is a regelin bone you can actually turn it however you want to so you see the effect so what you are going to do now with this part that is remaining you are just going to take it and then you will twist it however you actually want anyhow you want to twist it you are just going to twist it twist it like this so i hope you can see it you can twist it you can just twist it this way you can use a hand needle hand needle is better so I'll pin it down for us to see how it is looking. So I'll pin it down. So at the end of the day, so you see how it is looking. So I'm going to take it now. What I'm going to do now, use my, I'll secure it properly. 
and then I'll take this back to my ironing table and then iron it out like this. I'll iron it out. I'll iron it properly and then come back and show you the finished look of this sleeve. I'm going to, I must say, this sleeve is not for beginners, so beginners, you can try it out. Okay, guys, so at the end of the day, so you could see our petal sleeve. So I'm happy it actually came out well. So you can, so you see how it is looking. So when you put it on, so I'm just trying to, so when you put it on, it's going to be looking like this. So you see, so you see how it is looking beautiful, well, elegant. So this part, like I said, you can actually line it like the one on the picture. It was actually lined. So I don't have enough fabric, so I would have aligned it. So thank you so much. So I hope you got the concept. If you find this video helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button and then subscribe if you have not done so to my channel thank you so much i'll see you in my next video